over there is Colesville, Utah. But right here, check this out. Check out these horses, these wooden horses. How cool is this? Okay, there's my dad. I'm up here at Colesville, and I hear they have uh, some rock art, Indian rock art. It's uh, relatively close into the town, so I'm gonna go see and take a look. Talk to some people that work at the city. They told me where it's at here. Um, the only thing I need to be careful of, they said, is uh, rattlesnakes are through here, so. Okay, so here's a couple of signs. It's talking about not destroying the rock art. No spray paint. I know this has been severely uh, vandalized, which is a shame. Here's somewhat of a little cave. Always now, now I'm a little paranoid about snakes. Wow, this goes in a little ways. Huh, I don't have a flashlight to go down there. Well, I'm not seeing nothing yet, but graffiti, modern day stuff walk up this hill okay I think I finally found some right here see the person there two put two, uh, put about five people there there's some stuff maybe below here Maybe another one right there. Let's see what's over this hill. Okay. That's Echo Reservoir. How cool is this? head back down to uh, the van. My dad's waiting for me. Uh, just really didn't see anything. Just a bunch of graffiti. This nice area. This is probably 45 minutes out of Salt Lake City, I'm thinking. So I'm back at the cave. I'm really worried about snakes. I'm just gonna go in a little bit. Oh, it goes through. Yeah, I can. So you can see the other side, but I would have to crawl to get through that side, I think. So uh, this is good enough for me. 
It's a historic Union Pacific rail trail bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and try to climb up there. So I'm just leaving Colesville Echo Reservoir. Over there, there's gonna be a town called uh, Echo. And there's some nice red cliffs here. I'm thinking this should be safe to walk on. But there's a uh, old bridge. This had to been a part of the Union Pacific Rail Line. So this has went out of business who knows how many decades ago. See if we can get a peek in there. It still looks all original. Everything's still in there. Amazing. See if we can get a peek over here. And this one's closed. Oh, look at this. They still have all the souvenirs, the postcards, the magnets. So here's a abandoned gas station and another cafe. I'll go take a quick look at these. So the old motel is still being used, but here is a, another cafe. Modern motel, cozy cafe. And it looks like it's for sale by the owner. Okay, that's an old sign. So this Echo Reservoir, I mean this town of Echo, uh, when the I-80 moved, I mean, it bypassed this area, so this became a ghost town pretty quick. I mean, there's still, you know, some houses here. But uh, as far as businesses, there's no, everything closed. I mean, you got the railroad over there. But Frank's Echo Service old gas station. Take a quick look at this. No parking any time. Got the blinds closed there. Someone's storing a truck in there. These windows look pretty sh uh, shaded. Oh, there's an old car here. A really vintage old car. 